Hey guys, the objective of this video is now to find the column and beam stiffness of each member. So we saw in the past previous video the theory, now we're actually going to be doing the numbers. So our column is a 500 by 500 mil column. We eventually want to find the stiffness of the column, which is 4EI on L. Now what we do is we approximate the I value to be 0.8 times the gross I value. And the reason we do this is because our column is going to crack and it's only going to crack about a bit. So we take it as 20% as being cracked. So we're left with a actual I value of 0.8 times the gross I value. So the I value of a column is BH cubed on 12. So it's 0.8 times the 500 by 500 cubed on 12, which would give us an answer of 4.17 times 10 to the nine millimeters to the power of four. We can then work out the stiffness of our column, which is four E I on L. So it's gonna be, we, we keep the E constant, the E between the, um, the beam and the column is the same, and it makes it a lot simpler if we just keep it constant, because when we get to the uh, moment distribution, you'll see why it's a lot simpler. So it's four times E times the I value, which we found there, divided by the length. Now, we said in the previous video, the interstory height was 3.5 meters. So this height is 3.5 meters, which is the length of the column. So 3,500 millimeters. Working this out, we get an answer of 4.76 times 10 to the six E, where E is the elastic modulus. Now for the beam, this is our beam um, over here. Some of the things I've done is I've worked out that distance 700, which is gonna be 1850 minus 450. And dividing that by two would give us an answer of 700. So that distance there is 700. And I've also just found the centroid of each block. So I've split up the blocks like this and I found the centroid of each block um, by just going 230 divide two gives us 115 and 650 on two gives us 325. So that is the distance from the top of the centroid of each block. So the first thing we need to do is find the Y bar. 